We got a Triceratops going after a Stegosaurus. Oh, it just killed a Stegosaurus. Did... Did it just one-shot a Stegosaurus? Did that Triceratops just one-shot a Stegosaurus? What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sanctuary Park. Last we left off we uh, brought up a bunch of dinosaurs, you know, and you know what we normally do. There's no point in even saying last we left off, but like uh, <clears throat> I guess what we could do is uh, we're going to add in six more herbivores and four more carnivores. So without further ado, let's get right on with the herbivores. All right, herbivore number one is... Ooh, starting off with a sauropod. Okay, Mementisaurus. All right, herbivore number two. Apatosaurus. All right, we'll put four of them in. All right, what's uh, sauropod or herbivore number three gonna be? Dracorex. Okay. Herbivore number four. Iguanodon. Okay, they always show up on here, Iguanodon. The wheel just loves landing on Iguanodon. All right, what's herbivore number five? Stegoceratops, okay. And herbivore number six. Looks like it's gonna be Dryosaurus. All right, so for the six herbivores, we have Mementisaurus, Apatosaurus, Dracorex, Iguanodon, Stegosaurus, and Dryosaurus. All right, let's start with Dryosaurus. These guys will probably be killed off very quickly, I would imagine. Alright, let me go ahead and release the Iguanodons. Let's release the Apatosaurs. We'll start releasing them. Of course, the grass has to be in the way, so we can't see anything. I love this game sometimes. I mean, at least it runs smoother than Ark does. I'll give you that much. Alright, well, we won't be able to see anything, so we'll release those, and in the meantime, let's start releasing these guys. We'll start with the Draco Rex. Since they're much smaller... These are kind of where the Megalosaurs are. Let's release the Stegoceratops. I believe this is our second hybrid to be added in. Alright, that's Stegoceratops done. Let's release Mementisaurus. That's the first one done. I'll just release the second one as we go along. How are the Apatosaurs doing? Alright, looks like they're fully released, or just about to fully release. We got an Apatosaurus that kind of just wandered all the way over here already. You're just roaming and whatever. Alright, um, if you're not in the way, let's release the Iguanodons. Evolution, Dominion, Evolution, and Dominion. Okay, so we got two of each. That's awesome. Alright, so that's all of the herbivores released. So let's move on to the carnivores. Alright, only four carnivores. So carnivore number one is... Scorpius Rex. Alright, so I'm gonna have to down its traits. Alright. What is carnivore number two? Carnotaurus, okay. Okay. We'll put Carnotaurus in there. What's next? Dononicus. Okay. All right. And the fourth and final carnivore of the episode. What is it? 
Cryolophosaurus. Okay. So we've got Scorpius Rex, Carnotaurus, Deinonychus, and Cryolophosaurus. All right. So we'll throw two carnivores in here. So let's switch that over to carnivore. Let's just get the Scorpius Rex out of the way. I'm going to give them 50% chance of negative traits because they're hyper aggressive. And we're just going to get the one. All right, so we're looking at competition here. Deinonychus, let's release them. Of course they're blocked. Oh my god, get out of the way. All right, we got Deinonychus ready. Another small carnivore that can compete with the Concavenators and the Monolophosaurs, if we have any left. And the Scorpius Rex. We haven't seen you since season four? No, season two. I think it was season two. Or season three. I think it might have been season three. I don't know. All right. We got Scorpius Rex. All right. Let's release the other three. Let's get the Cryolophosaurus first. We kind of got a jet black one. I kind of like that. You can be Thunderstorm. You know, that could be a clever name for you. All right, let's release the Carnotaurs. We'll get three of them. Now, I believe the Carnotaurs will go after the Apatosaurs. All right, that's everything all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and switch the settings over. All right, I just turned combat on. Let me see if I can find Goldie, because you are the last living Allosaurus. First, let's see what these Gigantoraptors are doing. These two are kind of just chilling by themselves, which is kind of cool, you know? All right, we already got a fight between a Carnotaurus and a Cryolophosaurus. Look at how big the Carnotaurus is compared to the Cryolophosaurus. And we got a fight between Scorpius Rex and a Concavenator. Yeah, the Scorpius Rex just killed a Concavenator. Mm. The Scorpius Rex will probably hunt everything. I would imagine. Can't believe we have a Scorpius Rex in our enclosure. Alright, we got Carnotaurus and Cryolophosaurus. Scorpius Rex going after a Mementosaurus. That's a Cryolophosaurus dead. Oh yeah, Scorpius Rex goes after the sauropods. I forgot about that. We got the two Mementisaurs running for their lives. Oh, we already got two dead dinosaurs. We got a Concavenator that died to the Scorpius Rex. And we've got a Cryolophosaurus that died to a Carnotaurus. At least it wasn't Thunderstorm. It was Carnotaurus 2. Which one's Carnotaurus 2? It's you. Alright. Hmm. You can be Tangerine. I'll name you Tangerine. Gage and Goldie are fighting! I didn't even notice that! Right, who got the first hit? Oh, Gage gets the first hit. He must be stronger than Goldie. Let's see, can Goldie get another hit in? Ooh. Alright, Goldie does get a hit. They do a little dance. But yeah, Gage definitely had the upper hand here. They're probably going to call it off. Yep. The Stegosaurus won that. <laughs> what are your traits? Quenched, fit, long-lived, tolerant, and strong. Alright, that's good to know. What are your traits? Small appetite, quenched, resilient, tolerant, social, aggressive, strong, and defensive. Oh, we got a Stegoceratops going up against a Megalosaurus. This one kind of has a blank pattern. Small appetite, quenched, fit, long-lived, resilient, tolerant, and strong. Oh. 1% and you didn't even get a single hit in. 
100% against 1%. I think they might call it off, though. Yep, they're calling it off. That Megalosaurus is at 1%. Alamosaurus is still alive. We got the Taurosaurus kind of just chilling. We got Scorpius Rex hunting down a Mementisaurus. We got a fight between Tangerine... Oh, no, it's just two Carnos fighting for Alpha Dominance. What are your traits, good sir? Small appetite, quenched, long-lived, humble, aggressive, and defensive. Okay. Grapefruit. I'm just going to call you Grapefruit. Alright. Yeah, Tangerine is definitely the stronger one. Got a Danonicus hunting down a Segisaurus. So they have food anyway. And I love how this is just filling up. We got two Iguanodons duking it out. We got Spinoceratops against Stegosaurus. I think all three Spinoceratops are still alive. It's just a fight between them and the Stegosaurus. We got another Concavenator going up against Scorpius Rex, or it just died to Scorpius Rex. Which means you are the last surviving Concavenator. These Concavenators are really done dirty, aren't they? We got a Cerato Buster against Stegosaurus. We'll have to see what happens here. Another Stegosaurus going at it. We got a Taurosaurus and Megalosaurus. We could really care less about that. These guys are just fighting for territory. That's all they're doing. Stegoceratops and Megalosaurus. Well, I don't think... Yeah, this Stegosaurus didn't get a single hit in. Well, he does get a hit in. That's good. We got Scorpius Rex hunting down an Alamosaurus, it looks like. I'll just name you Dart, because this dinosaur always reminded me of a Dart Frog, the Scorpius Rex. It's so skinny, and its legs, like it never misses leg day. Actually, it could lay off on the leg day, if I'm going to be honest. It looks like it's all flesh and bone and no muscle at all. Looking like the dinosaur version of Scar from the Lion King. Oh, what do we got here? Gigantoraptor versus Stegosaurus. And the Gigantoraptor got a hit in. What's your trait? Quench, fit, humble, tolerant, skittish, strong, and defensive. They might call this fight off. Yep, they're calling it off. Alright, that Stegosaurus lost. Definitely. What's this Iguanodon fighting? Oh, it's a Cryolophosaurus. Okay. We got Taurosaurus fighting a Stegoceratops, 73% against 100%. What do we got over here? Alright, 61% against 89, so the Iguanodon got the first hit in. I don't think the Cryos are doing too hot, if I'm gonna be honest. We got a fight between a Gigantoraptor and a Staracosaurus. Staracosaurus just died to a Gigantoraptor. We got Dart fighting a Taurosaurus. Ouch. Oh yeah, he's weak. So don't expect him to do much against some of the bigger prey. Saying that, he does poison the Taurosaurus. They do a little dance, 37%. They might call this one off. Yep. Dark definitely lost that one. We got Tangerine hunting down, I believe, an Apatosaurus. Yep. Yeah, Carnotaurus will go after them. Where's Goldie? Oh, you're about to fight. We got Grapefruit going up against a Cryolophosaurus. What are your traits? Small appetite, quenched, long-lived, humble, aggressive, and defensive. Got another Cryolophosaurus that just died. Goldie fighting another Stegosaurus. Mm. 
Mm. Alright, Goldie got the first hit in. Alright, they do a little dance. They're calling it off here. 42% against 62%. Yep, definitely. These Gigantoraptors don't mess around. What are your traits? Fit, humble, skittish, and defensive. You are small appetite, quenched, long-lived, tolerant, skittish, strong, and defensive. Small appetite, fit, long-lived, social, and skittish. And you are quenched, fit, humble, tolerant, skittish, strong, and defensive. We got a couple of strong Gigantoraptors. I think we got a Dryosaurus that either made it. No, I think it's in that side for a reason. Dark just died to a Megalosaurus. R.I.P. R.I.P. We got Thunderstorm hunting down an Archaeornithomimus, I believe that is. No, a Dryosaurus. Okay. Oh, we got Goldie hunting down an Apatosaurus. Allosaurus will attack it, too. That's good to know. I'm surprised the Carnotaurs haven't attacked the Allosaurs yet. The Triceratops have kind of made themselves at home over here. That's cool. Yo, a lot of these are some really cool shots. Sorry if I'm going into photo mode a lot. I'm just, I'm just impressed by all the screenshots. I might even post them on Instagram. Oh, we got two Draco Rexes fighting each other. We got two Taurosauruses fighting each other. Oh, this is the Taurosaurus that's been poisoned. How long will you be poisoned for? Or are you just poisoned forever? Ooh, you did get a hit in. Or does the poisoning pause when it's fighting something? No, he's at 18% now. Or maybe it's because the other guy hit him. Will they call their fight off? Oh, he's got another minute. Yeah, he might die to the poison. We got a Taurosaurus going up against a Stegoceratops. These guys don't like each other at all. We got the two two stegosaurs duking it out. We got Tangerine kind of just looking for water and panicking. What what's this? Gage going up against Grapefruit, one of the Carnotaurs. Okay, let's see what you can do. You land the first hit. Yo, this stegosaur. This stegosaur is very OP. The Carnotaurus does land the second hit. They do a little dance. They might call it off here. Yep. 26% against 77%. We got a Stegosaurus going up against the only Carnotaurus that doesn't have a name. I might name you. What's another breakfast item I could name you? I don't want to name you Toast because of the gaming beaver. How about Waffle? We'll name you Waffle. They're kind of like... They're kind of like... Toast. Alright. Cryolophosaurus hunting down a Struthiomimus. Look at how small these guys are. Even compared to a Struthiomimus. They're one of the smaller theropods. Without a doubt, Cryolophosaurus. Alright, this cryo isn't doing too good. You're small appetite, quenched, fit, resilient, tolerant, social, aggressive, and defensive. Do you get a hit in? That's good. That's good. And you're dead. Which means... Thunderstorm is the last living Cryolophosaurus. What are your traits? Small appetite, fit, long-lived, humble, and strong. So you do have strength on your side. Will this work out in your favor? That's the question. We got a Triceratops going after a Stegosaurus. Oh, it just killed a Stega... Did... Did it just one-shot a Stegosaurus? Did that Triceratops just one-shot a Stegosaurus? 
Small appetite, resilient, humble, tolerant, social, skittish, and defensive. And your traits were fit, long-lived, resilient, humble, tolerant, social, strong, and defensive. All right, so you're basically maxed out. I might name you Max Horridus. You know, after, after my OC. I don't really think anything else is going on. We got Grapefruit about to fight another Stegosaurus, it looks like. Or is this a fake out? No, it's real. It's real. Alright, Grapefruit isn't really doing too hot when it comes to landing hits first. Alright, looks like they do a little dance. Ooh, what's this? Tangerine? Oh, uh, that's two Carnotaurs. This is more interesting. Yeah, so... 54 or 7% against 83%. Not looking too good for Tangerine. They do call it off. Or Grapefruit, sorry. Yeah, you were probably right to run away. Alright. I think this is a good place to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.